I've heard that there are some really neat Halloween lights around here, so I'm off to see if we can find them. You're off by yourself? Yeah, I'm off by myself. <laughs> We've heard that there's some really neat Halloween lights around here, so we're off to see if we can find them. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? That is a great costume. You could go through the backyard and they had a great backyard. Yes, they did fantastic. <laughs> that was so much fun. I don't think it turned out, but one of the kids was dressed as like a great like swamp thing costume. He asked if we were gonna make him famous. <laughs> Said we'd try. <laughs> Next house on the list. Nine minutes away. <laughs> I love this. I think this place decorates good for Christmas too. I don't think they moved that Santa sled there for the Christmas trees. Definitely a quarantine skeleton. No toilet paper. So I found this really cool site. It's called, it's on Google. It's Halloween decorations in Utah. People can go in and if they have ha uh, Halloween decorations, you can add yourself to this list. So now we're gonna go see if there's anything cool on this list. <laughs> That's awesome. I've been looking for that 12 foot skeleton everywhere and I finally found one. This is awesome. Good morning. As you can tell, the car is packed, well, overpacked, and we are on the road out of Provo. This has been such a really nice trip. Our accommodations were luxurious. The people have been great. The Halloween director, dire directions, decorations, have been the directions amazing. were good too that you got from Google. So that's true. Were wonderful. It was a really nice stay here, and the hiking was cool. Park City was gorgeous, way out of our price range, but gorgeous. Yeah. Our next stop is Durango, Colorado, unless we see something really cool along the way. Like that stoplight. That yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. It's, it's important if you stop. They get really mad if you don't. Sometimes when you put a shirt on, I put my shirt on inside out. Apparently I didn't even know this one. I'll have to change that before we stop somewhere. You're such a keeper. I know. During our cruise around New Zealand last year, the cruise director also ran this monkey mind meditation group that we really fell in love with. His name is Cuddy, and since the quarantine, we've been doing a Zoom 15 minute meditation every Sunday, and it's been fantastic. We just caught it on the road, pulled off on the side of the road, did it on our phone. We'll put a link in to his, uh, his Facebook and stuff. I haven't really done much meditation, but this one really resonated with me. It's been fantastic. I look forward to it every Sunday. And he also does counseling and everything. So we'll put a plug in for him down below just because we, we love the guy. Yeah. He's wonderful. And, you know, pulling off on the side of the road to do meditation. What better? <laughs> All right. Back on the road. Okay. on coming by here, but we saw the sign and said, why not? Well, as far 
far as places that, hey, why don't we stop there with no plan goes, this one rates pretty high on the list. <laughs> Orange Cliffs Overlook. Coming to Canyonlands was just a whim as we were driving down the road and this place absolutely taking my breath away. Wow, I would make a special trip to come here. It's amazing. go into a cave they're always making things up with slag tights and slag mites so I say turtle <laughs> it does kind of look like a turtle genie's lamp bacon egg and cheese biscuit that's my girl <laughs> now I'm hungry these are great markers we've reached the end it was well worth the hike the whole mile the whole mile was well worth the hike. <laughs> Well, for me, without a doubt, the walk out to Grandview, still breathing heavy. <laughs> the most visually stunning short walk we've been on. And that includes yeah. those ones we went on in Tasmania. Yes. Wow. I agree. <laughs> we need water, huh? I do. We got water in the car. <laughs> Next up, Durango. Here we go. Do not miss Canyonlands National Park, whatever in the area. Out we go. Well, after a stop at Starbucks, We just arrived in beautiful Durango, Colorado, and we already hit our first detour. That thing is brutal. So much for the museum. Louis L'Amour wrote some of his books here. Go dog! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs>